I just recently heard this story about a missionary probably a hundred years ago I can't remember his name but he was a prominent figure he had a lot of opportunities to make money but God called him to be a missionary he accepted the call of God and said I will go for you but during that period of time when he was getting ready to go to Africa he had some type of accident and his leg was chopped off that would have made most people question the call of God on their life but not this man he said I'm still going to go he had some type of leg made out of wood or cork or something like that and he went to Africa well he found a tribe over there that had never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ the problem was they were cannibals and they killed everyone that ever tried to go and minister and witness to them. Well, this man, he goes and he's trying to follow after God. He feels like it's God's will and he and his translator go to this village and sure enough, they pull their spears out and they're going to kill him and eat him. But he said, stop before you kill me and eat me you have to taste me first and he pulled his leg up and pulled his knife out and he cut a piece off of that old court wooden leg and he grabbed it and he gave it over to the chief and the chief put it in his mouth and started to chew and he said oh this white man not good and this missionary ended up preaching the gospel to these people and they were saved they were delivered and they were changed by the power of Jesus Christ this is Good Friday but what could be so good about it the men of this earth murdered the Son of God he was brutally beaten and awfully crucified on an old rugged cross but because he was crucified, the lamb was slain, the sacrifice was made, and I can say that I've been set free. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. But it's all because of Jesus Christ. Had he not died on that old rugged cross and shed his blood to wash away my sins, then I'd still be lost and that verse would not be relevant to you or to me. But Jesus Christ died. It was a bad day. It was the worst day. But now I can say it led to my best day because I'm saved. And I don't know where you are today. You may be having a bad day. You may be overcome or overwhelmed with the sin and the cares of this world. But I've got good news for you on Good Friday. Jesus Christ died for you. Jesus Christ shed His blood so that you could be delivered and set free. Won't you pray? Pray right now. Won't you believe on Him right now? Won't you celebrate right now? Because it's Good Friday. God can turn something bad, the missionary losing his leg, how awful is that, into something good, a native tribe of cannibals being saved. He can turn your test into a testimony. He can turn your mess into into a message. Let's celebrate this Good Friday because Jesus took something bad and turned it into something good and He can do the same in your life today. This is Chaplain Reese signing off. Don't forget to read your Bible and pray every day. Don't forget that I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.